Hey there folks, welcome back to EDC Tactical Gear Review. I am your host, Mark P. We're going to be doing part two of our inexpensive go bag items. Uh, part one should be uploaded already and available to watch. We did about 15 or 17 items uh, and I've got uh, some more items to go over. So let's jump back into it. Um, just as a, a reminder or an FYI, if you didn't watch part one, uh, these are inexpensive items that you can put in your go bag to uh, make your travels a little bit easier. These are not things I'm saying that you have to have. These are must-have items. These are just inexpensive things that you can throw in your go bag that are like are they're, they're cheap. Um, they uh, they're small. Don't take up a whole lot of space. They're not super heavy, and they may just make things a little bit easier for you on your travels. Uh, so let's get back into it. So let's here, let's see, we're going to start with um, water purification tablets. Um, these are uh, Coleman here. Let's see, I don't, I'm not sure how many are in here. I'm not sure if it tells you or not. But, uh, you know, you got to drink. Water's life. Um, so if uh, you need to have something to drink and you're out in the middle of the woods and you don't have any other way to do purification um, you can pop a couple of these pills in your canteen and in half an hour or so you've got yourself clean water that you can drink so this little bottle I think runs about five or six bucks uh, the um, links to the products will be in, in Amazon or I'm sorry the links to the products will be in the comment section below uh, from Amazon okay so there's that uh, this is cloth tape this is actually my son's hockey tape to wrap his stick with, but shit, I love this stuff. Um, you know, I used to carry duct tape. I used to carry Gorilla Tape. Uh, you know, I've put all that stuff back into the garage, and I pretty much exclusively carry cloth tape. This stuff is strong. I mean, it is just wicked, wicked strong. Um, I can't cut it with my hand. I have to use a knife to cut it. Um, except he uses it to wrap his, my son uses it to wrap his hockey stick, so it has to be able to survive, uh, you know, 45 minutes on the, on, on the ice, you know, constantly being, uh, slashed and pushed around and, and whatever on the ice, so this is some tough shit, so, um, rolls are inexpensive, they usually come in, in, uh, three or four packs, uh, so again, we'll find links on Amazon, pop those in the, uh, the comment section below, check that out. Um, in the previous video, I talked about having pencils um, for writing and for also using as uh, Tinder. Uh, but uh, if you want to write a note, you've got to have something to write that note on. So I have two different uh, notepads here. Um, this little small one here, this is what, maybe probably 3 by 5 And this bigger one is probably 4 by 6 4 by 7 uh, again, you know, super, uh, as far as the weight goes, they're, they're next, they weigh next to nothing. Um, you know, they're, they're inexpensive. They don't take up a whole lot of space in your bag. I mean, they're very thin. Um, so not, not like they're going to, you know, keep you from putting something else in your bag. Uh, again, I keep this stuff in, in the admin section of my, uh, my go bag. And, you know, and worst comes to worst, if you had to in a pinch, it's paper. So paper could be used as uh, tinder for starting a fire. Um, <clears throat> next we have lint proof or yeah, lint proof, um, rags. And usually I started off buying these for cleaning my car for the windows of, of the cars because, you know, the regular, regular towel or whatever, they would leave streaks and you'd get little bits and fibers and, and whatever, uh, on the window. And I've actually moved a few over to my go bag. Uh, they're just really good clean uh, cloth um, they're essentially surgical surgical cloth is what they are uh, so when you're you're cleaning a wound or, or if you had to do surgery or whatever to cut somebody open for whatever reason you want to have these things handy because you don't want anyone to get an infection because uh, some debris from the towel that you used uh, got into the wound and uh, got infected uh, these come in I think, six packs ten packs uh seven or eight bucks uh again links will be below in the comments cutting shears this this goes into your ifac um 
when you need to cut someone's clothes off to get to a wound, uh, you do not want to whip out a sharp pointy knife and cut them even worse than they already probably are. So you just use this. It's got the, uh, the blunted front end here so that you're not going to be cutting the person, but you can still cut their clothes. Uh, this is a uh, $240 on Amazon. We have nice and clean antibacterial hand wipes. This is a pack of 20. This cost, uh, I think, $250 at CVS. Um, you know, <clears throat> when you need to clean an area, again, for, for wound care, uh, just to have, uh, you know, the ability to, to clean with a pretty good size, uh, you know, hand wipe, that's nice to, to be able to do. Uh, if you're, you know, I've read a fair amount of, uh, of articles where they talk about having toiletries as being a non-necessity. And for the most part, I agree. I don't carry deodorant in my backpack and things like that. But I do carry a toothbrush. I do carry toothpaste. I do carry dental floss. Um, you know, personal hygiene in the field can be important. Uh, you know, if you've never had... Uh, uh, a problem with your teeth then you have no idea the pain that you can feel when you have some sort of sort of infection in a tooth so if you're able to brush your teeth while in the field you're going to be able to prevent things like that from happening and I assure you you do not want to be doing root canal uh, while you're in the field and uh, on the run or just trying to get back home so um, again so the these are good to have you know just for for washing your armpits and, and just washing your body really quick and, and uh, cleaning other things, uh, just making things sanitary. You know, whether maybe, maybe it's uh, you're, you're cleaning your spork or, or whatever, just 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 a good way to sanitize things um, and, and uh, you know take care of them that way. So this is a pack of twenty. I think it was just a couple bucks. No big deal. <clears throat> we had our mylar. "Quote unquote space like a, um, these are great. They come in packs of uh, you know two, three, four, or five, whatever. Um, they're uh, they're great because what they do is they reflect your own body heat back to you because uh, the mylar is shining. That's what it does. It just it, it reflects your heat back to you. Uh, the size of this one is 48 inches by 72 inches. Um, so you can use it as a blanket. You can use it to make a shelter." And I've actually seen, seen people who will, um, they'll put it up as a, and they'll have it so that, that the, uh, that this blanket reflects their fire's light back at them. They actually, it's kind of cool. They, um, uh, they, they were sort of, they had a, a rock face to their back and they put this mylar, um, blanket uh, on, on the rock wall behind them or the, or the rock face behind them so that, that the that the heat that was being that, that, that the heat from their fire that was being absorbed by the rock was now being reflected back on them by the mylar blanket so again lots of uses for this again shelter building uh, just just you know keeping warm um, signaling for God's sake I mean, these things are shiny as hell so um, lots and lots of uses for these Cheap as heck, uh, five or six bucks for those packs of, of three or four. <clears throat> um, two bucks, chapstick. Uh, again, you know, chap lips when you're walking, you know, five, six, eight miles a day is pretty rough. So, uh, you know, keep your, uh, keep your lips in good condition and they'll, they'll be okay. Oh, also there, I believe chapstick is petroleum based like the Vaseline. So you can probably, probably rub some of these, some, some of, some of the chapstick, uh, on a cotton ball or some other type of tinder, uh, cloth type tinder. And the, uh, that might aid in creating a fire, uh, because again, because of the petroleum based nature of the chapstick. All right, next, this may sound a little bit goofy, but Go with me on this. This is a large binder clip. I keep four or five of these in my, uh, again, in the admin section of my go bag. Um, 
you know, you can't buy these individually that I'm aware of. You can buy them in boxes. I think it's a box of 20 for, uh, I think it's six or seven bucks. Um, you know, these are, 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 are great for helping to make shelter. Uh, just just for, for, you know, again, for clamping things down that you maybe don't want to use a paracord for or you're running out of tape or, or whatever. It's just one more way to to tie things down and to connect things together and uh, you know, and, and, it, and it's reusable. That's why I like these two, because this is reusable, unlike, a, unlike tape or whatever, where you use it once and it's it's gone. So this is, a, this is a, a, something that you can use to make shelter or uh, you know, tie something down to your, your go bag or, or whatever. But again, I guarantee you, you can find uses for a big binder clip like this. One of my favorite items is the Pro Knot card set. Um, this is a pack of six credit card size uh, plastic uh, cards here that are double sided and each side shows you how to tie a different kind of knot. Actually, I think on a couple of the cards they show you two different kinds of knots like this one here. Um, Again, you know, each of these is, is credit card size, so all together we're looking at probably an eighth of an inch as far as the, you know, that goes. It weighs next to nothing, you know, I mean, maybe an ounce. I mean, it's just, again, it weighs nothing. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm i not a super knot tying kind of guy. I mean, I, I know three or four fairly, I don't say basic, but I, I know three or four different knots I can bust out when I need to. Uh, you know, but again, this could be a simple, easy, and effective way to to figure out the right knot to tie something down. You take it out, you know, tie your knot, and you put it back. Um, and it's reusable. Uh, again, because it's plastic, it's not gonna get, it's not gonna, not gonna break or, or get ruined because uh, it gets wet. So this cost, uh, I think it was four bucks. Links will be below. Um, along the same lines as the binder clip is just this larger, um, uh, larger clip here. It's not even a clip, uh, I'm not even sure what you call it, but, um, again, for, for making a shelter, uh, for tying things down, for, for securing things to your go, go bag, uh, you know, again, this is a great little thing to have, uh, pick this up at the hardware store for two bucks, um, and I carry uh, four of these, so super easy to have. They do take up some space, but uh, I think it's worthwhile to have. Matches, not just any matches, strike anywhere matches. Uh, so these, any any rough type surface will, uh, will catch these matches and uh, they will light up for you. Absolutely no problems. Uh, the box, I think it was a box of 500 matches for, yeah, God, I think it was like four bucks. I mean, it was, it was again, it was not a whole lot of money. Um, sorry, <laughs> not a whole lot of money. Um, if you, if you were a little bit afraid about them getting wet and not being able to use, you can do the poor man's waterproof matches just get yourself a big candle light the candle and then dip the uh, phosphorus head into the uh, the the wet wax and you've got yourself waterproof match now voila a couple more items and we are done here folks uh travel size again travel size uh gold bond foot powder uh you know you kind of might laugh at foot powder but you know go back Look at World War One and see how many soldiers were taken out of the fight because they had trench rot on their foot. Uh, essentially, their feet got wet and they were never able to dry out. Um, the foot powder will aid in uh, in that happening. Um, so you know this cost uh, this was three twenty nine I want to say. Um, so this will keep your feet um, nice and, and and healthy. I know your feet are a huge resource. Uh, while if you're walking so you want to treat them right and they will treat you right all the way back All right the last thing the last two things and we're gonna do this as a combo This here 
is the Stanley 24 ounce three piece cooking set. I apologize for that. Three piece cooking set. We have a 24 inch pot right here. So if you need to uh, purify some water, cook something, whatever, you know, that, that's that's fine. You can do right do it right here. You've got uh, a nice little handle you can grab onto and, and hold on or run a stick through it so it's over the fire. Uh, you've got two 10 ounce thermal cups that uh, fit inside so they're, they're nesting. Flop that, flop that. Uh, you've got a lid for it. What I do is I have a, um, uh, a cup of rice and rice is one of the best things to grab with you uh, when you're traveling because it's simple to make. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So one, one cup of rice, one cup of water, and you're good to go. And I just put that rice right inside uh, the top cup and then I seal her up. That's it. She's ready to go. Now, that clanking noise that you hear, oh, I'm sorry, and this, this cost uh, 12 bucks on Amazon. That clanking noise that you hear is the CRKT spork that I have attached to it. It does come with this carabiner clip. So a spork, in case you don't know, is a combination of a spoon and a fork, hence spork. So you've got your the fork down here, the spoon here, we've got a bottle opener. Um, and these are, I, I don't understand why people do this, but they have different, uh, different hex nut things on the, I don't know, whatever, but they're there. Uh, the spork was, uh, four fifty nine I want to say, on Amazon. And, uh, last but not least, again, don't laugh, but a fingernail clipper, um, at first glance, you might be wondering why I would put this on here. Again, a toiletry item, but hear me out. Um, if you've never had long toenails that cut through your socks because they snagged on them as you put on your socks, well, then you're lucky, but I have. Um, so this, this is good to have as far as personal hygiene goes. You know, if you... you, uh, if you you know, your fingernail gets caught on something that snags, you, you know, you do, do not want to be taking a, a knife to your fingernail if you can avoid it. This is a good way to cut it. Uh, you can also strip wire with this, as a matter of fact. Um, and there's probably a couple other uses that I can't think of right now, but, you know, I mean, it costs two bucks. It, uh, it's got a, 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 a file on here as well, which I think could be useful at some point in time. You know, for, for two bucks, the size and the space, why the hell not? Um, so that's it for part two of the inexpensive items. You can throw in your go bag to make your life just a little bit easier as you travel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to put uh, links below for as many things as I can uh, for you to pick up online and take a look at. Uh, so that's it for this episode of Easy Tactical Gear Review. I hope you enjoyed it. I am Mark P. Have a great night, guys. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye.